I am broken. I am broken mentally, emotionally, and physically. Honestly, I, I feel like, I don't know how I got here, but I feel like I'm at rock bottom. I am shot. I am legitimately broken in every way. And I, I don't even know why. That's the worst part. And not only do I not know why or how I got to this rock bottom part and place or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. How do we even get out of it? Yeah. How's, how's this possible? How's this possible, Orion? Like, don't, like, didn't you just get back from overseas? Like, don't you have a book? Don't blah, 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 blah. So, uh, I think, look, honestly, all I can say is, yeah, that's right. I, I have, you know, recently returned from being overseas to be on a, on a show and some interviews, that kind of stuff about my book. That's true. It's funny because it's for some reason now I feel less capable as a husband, as a father, as a human than I've ever felt. And I don't even know why. I've just, I've just found myself in a really dark, deep, broken place. I don't know why. The whole point of you even watching this, which is clearly not going to happen, but the whole point of watching my channel and my videos, the whole the whole starting point, the genesis, just just a, just a few years ago, was because my son was diagnosed, which caused me to be diagnosed, which caused me to go enough is enough. I can't let him live the life I've lived or feel the way I feel. I got to do something about it, and my something about it is this, is to stop doing everything else and just focus all my time and all my effort and all the, the skills I have into creating content to help my son and obviously other autistic people live a better life than I did or many other autistic adults have lived. And I know are doing everything they can to help other people as well. And that's it, that was it. There were no followers, there were no fans, there were no comments, there was no book, there was no nothing. It was just me making videos to help my son and autistic people. And, and yeah, I just assume that after a while people will start watching and people will start subscribing and you'll have, you know, you'll have viewers and fans and it will help people it will help people and that's kind of all i really thought about it and then it you know it starts to reach people and that's amazing like i'm i mean no way i mean no way um say i'm not uh, grateful immensely grateful for every single person that's taken the time to watch any one of my videos or decided to subscribe to my channels or to comment about my videos or share my videos. I, because I just told you the whole point is to help, you know, autistic people. So that's clearly my goal. You, you've got it, Orion. You've got everything you want. You've got everything that you want. Have I? So the world's, the world's better now for my autistic son and other autistic people? That's, hmm, that's the confusing part. How is it, how is it at, at this, I guess this, I don't know, proverbial uh, peak? You know, there's, there's ups and downs in, in life in any journey. You know, up, down, up, down. And, and I've reached a, another one of those ups. And you, you go down, you go up, that's life. There's no, just, that doesn't exist. So I've reached one of those things. Okay, so how have I got here and found myself such a crap human being? Such a bloody crap house husband and father and human being. How have I got to a point where I'm so broken? I can, I can tell you there's been some, there's been some real confronting things 
that go with doing doing what I do, which is which is which is really tricky to navigate. And you know, that's why I don't really even know. Honestly and truly, when I say I'm broken, it's not a joke. Like I'm I'm like I'm my wife even points it out to me, right? I, I am not in a good place mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm not in a good place. I don't know how I got here. I don't know how I get out of here. I don't know what I do. I don't. I don't have. Um, I don't have any plans of any kind to really do anything regarding my book. Blah 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 blah. My book. Tell us about your book. Who wants your book? Blah 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 blah. blah. You know, or you know, making making content. I don't just have. I don't have any plans to make content of any kind aside from doing my best to share with you where I'm at so you at least understand where, why I'm here, where I'm at, so you at least understand. What, what is the point? So if the point is I do this to help my son and the autistic community and it doesn't seem like that's really happening, what's happening is uh, out of you know, out of nowhere, pe- people who don't care for autistic people suddenly want something from me or a piece from me. This is not about you. This is about the broader, like, you know, commercial world or the world at all. You know, suddenly want a piece of me, and that's not even remotely to do with what I'm trying to do. And then you don't you you forget what you're doing or how you got here. But yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm completely broken. Well, I know I'm broken physically because literally I've just had to confront an autistic person's nightmare, which is, in my opinion, for starters, traveling. Secondly, traveling alone with no real support people, right? Like your partner or your family or a friend, whatever. So traveling alone, Traveling in general, traveling to a different country, traveling, you know, in a very quick, like rushed period where you're really going for a reason. So therefore, like, this is the thing we talk about all the time. You know, if I'm an autistic person, right, if I've got an appointment, let's say I've got a dental appointment today or tomorrow, then leading up to that, my life is on hold because I have this appointment coming up, right? Now, when the appointment's over, you go through a bit of a honeymoon period, you feel good again. But then there's another appointment, which is the next thing. So, okay, so I'm flying overseas, so I can't focus on anything, right? Then I get overseas, I'm there, I've got a interview, for example, right? Let's say, so between getting in the country and the interview, again, this is like this horrible holding pattern, then it's finished, and then it's, well, but I'm gonna fly home in a day or something, you know? So. I don't, why did I even bring that part up? I don't know. I don't know. So that's right. That's why I'm physically shot, yeah? Uh, I'm physically shot because I'm, I've been uh, taking on all this, all this, like, taking on all this stuff, like the world is like, oh, you're an autistic person who seems to be doing okay and as people know about, and how can we use you to help us do our job or sell our stuff? It's like, what does that even mean? So... You know, and the emotional and the mental stuff, I think, is a is a, as a direct result of of what people don't what, what people don't get. Not I'm not talking about you, because uh, I'm entirely grateful for you to be here as part of this community to help me, right? But what people don't get in the broader scheme is number one. Okay, so I do, I'm a I'm an autistic person, right? That has a you know content, and some people have seen it, some people know about it, and that's that's phenomenal. That's the, again, that's the only reason why I do this. <laughs> to help autistic people, including my son. And I've, now I've got so nuts about that, I forgot what I was gonna say. That's right, that's right. Um, but yeah, but take a step back. Yes, I'm an autistic person. Okay, so this is not about you, this is about me. This is about how I identify. Okay, so I have a medically diagnosed neurodevelopmental condition. It's a medically diagnosed, medically recognized disability under many acts on the, like you can't say it's, you, it's not a disability and then say we should, we should be treated fairly, equitably as per the 
Discrimination Act. You know, dis- like we can't say, well, I'm- so do you or don't you, right? So I do, I do, okay? I know that. So I'm like, okay, oh, so good, man. You can do videos and have content and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, great. But I, you, the, the overall point of my life, I'm still, it's still through the lens of a different brain, through, you know, someone who, who actually has a medically diagnosed condition that sure it has strengths, fantastic. Let's praise the strength, hallelujah. But it has challenges. Life is hard. I'm not, I'm vulnerable, man. I'm not meant to, I'm not meant to navigate all this crap. You know, like all these extra crap, all the 7,000 different, you know, whether they're companies or people wanting a piece of you, like, you know, hey, you, you're kind of cool, your content's kind of funny. I think, well, that can, we can use that. I don't know how to navigate that, and I'm vulnerable. And you know what? I I have seriously been scammed really recently, like legitimately scammed. I was scammed recently, and I've been scammed or try to be scammed every day. People will email you, and you can watch other YouTube channels. They have the same thing. People will email them about, you know, well, they want to collaborate or something, right? And then, you know, you click on a link or something, next thing you know, your, your, your YouTube channel's shut down. I mean, this happens everywhere. But I'm an autistic person. I, I, I'm, I have a vulnerability. I don't, I don't experience the world through others, you know, through the same neurotypical brain. Um, yeah, I, I guess I just believe people and trust people. I get scammed all the time. I've been scammed really recently by people that prey on vulnerable people, of which I'm one. And so half my life is just based around the stress of the next email that I get is going to be another scam or going to try and take my money or my channel. And it's like, I'm an autistic person. I'm not built. I'm not equipped to navigate this. My capacities to navigate these levels of stresses don't exist. So then that flows through to me being, you know, because I'm so drained, I, I can't be a husband or a father or a human. And then that just makes me feel so mentally bad that I get into a worse hole. That, you know, I mean, all this, all this culminates in me feeling so mentally bad, which, which is the reason why I've told you from the very start of this video, I am broken. I don't know if I can be fixed. I'm broken. I'm at the bottom of the rung, right at rock bottom, mentally, physically, emotionally. Don't know how I got here. I don't know how I get away from here. I don't even know what, my key goal is, is to make sure I can resolve my capabilities to be the best case scenario, husband and father. That's the most important thing to me. And the reason why I do this is as a father with an autistic kid, I wanna try and help him. And this is my skill set. This is what I've always done. It's always been my special interest, my passion, my career. This is what I do. If I was good at something else, I'd do that. Do you see what I'm saying? Everyone, making, everyone makes a contribution their own way. That's the point of life. But what's the point of what I'm saying? So yeah, there's people trying to scam me. People who have scammed me. Like, honestly. And then there's the, then there's the whole idea of um, people, every, not you, but like, you know, neurotypical people, they're, they're always saying things like, oh, it's amazing. Like, you get invited to talk to people and, you know, people want to interview you and you've been in big newspapers and you've been on TV and interviews and blah, 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 blah. Fantastic. How good is that? It is good. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's fantastic. But only, only fantastic if I get to speak about autism, autistic people, and the challenge we face and try and actually remedy that. Now, that's the point. And by the way, people can say, oh, you're getting all these interviews because you have a book. Well, last time I checked, there isn't a single goddamn interview I've done. And you can read them and watch them. They barely mention the book. My book's amazing. <laughs> I, I, I spent almost two years putting this thing together. It's, I'm proud of it. I love it. It's an amazing book. But the point I'm saying is, that's what a load of crap. <laughs> you, these people don't want to talk to me because I have a book or my book. They want to talk to me because my story resonates in an emotional way. My story as a late diagnosed autistic person or, or a father with an autistic kid. My story, me, me as a person, my personality, my contribution to life, my view of life, my story, everything about me, the stuff that's inside, not in a book. That's why they want to talk to me. They can give a shit about the book, right? Now, again, I do. I love the book. People that have bought it love it. Apparently, it's got some really great uh, reviews and stuff, which is amazing. And then, you know, hey, if, you, if you're going to get the book, at least do that so people can see it's good. But this is the thing, right? So, 
What's, uh, oh, you, so you're an author now. Yeah, yeah, that's right, I'm an author. I've got a book. Yep, yeah, I'm an author and I've got a book, fantastic. Uh, hey, 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 it's my book, hey, hey. You know, great, fantastic, I love it, it's amazing. And uh, it is like my heart and soul. It's a bloody, it's the best book I've ever read. <laughs> but um, the only thing, the only thing writing a book and putting a book out has done, actually there's two things. But I want to be really clear. The first thing is, is it is reaching people and it's hopefully over a long period of time, it's a slow burn, impacting on autistic kids' lives. Because as autistic adults, late diagnosed adults, we're shot, we're stuffed. You can, you can sign it, you can close it down, mate. The world doesn't give a shit about you or me. It's over, forget about us. Let's, let's look after the kids, the next generation, okay? So that's the first thing, right? Doing this book has done nothing but hopefully helped me over a long period of time progress the quality of life for autistic people. Number two, it's done, the other, only other thing it's done is put me into significant debt. People go, oh man, you got a book, man. How much do you make? Well, I don't know. It, it, at the time of recording this video, so right now today for me, and I think my book's been out I don't know for a, what's what's the date? Uh, what's it? Six, three? I don't know. Three months. The platforms it's on, you know, like it's on Amazon and stuff. I haven't seen or been paid a single cent, a single cent. If you've bought my book, and I hope you do, I'm encouraging you to buy my book on Amazon and all these places. I'm encouraging you to because it's going to help my son and your kid. And it's, I mean, I, I want you to, but don't don't. Let's not let's not mess this up. Not a cent. Not not a cent. Not a cent. I don't care. Now, what I've been told by the, the people that know shit is that that's because obviously when you sell your book on these kind of platforms, and I, I'm I'm happy to have these platforms because again, all I care about is my son and, and autistic people. This isn't about money, right? The, the platforms do this. This is how it works, right? They, they sell it. They do they cover all the costs for you. And they take all their stuff and they give you the, a percentage, right? You get a percentage. So whenever, whenever, let's, for example, whenever like an online retailer sells my book, they send me a percentage, like a residual percentage. But of course, they don't just send it to you every time you sell a book. It's got to reach a certain threshold. So until I make a certain amount of money, they won't ever send it to me. Now, if I don't make that threshold, I won't ever get it sent to me. And presumably, uh, I haven't, I, but I'm telling you, so I haven't reached that threshold. Frankly, I don't even know how much I make per book. Um, and then people go, oh yeah, um, but you also sell like books yourself, right? On your own website, signed. Yeah, that's right. They cost me even more money. <laughs> now, again, you wonder why I'm broken. You wonder why I've lost it. I'm in a deep, dark place. People are, pe like, not you. People literally email me every day. People will whinge and whine. Oh, my God. I, I wanted a signed copy of your book. I wanted to order it from your website. The signed copy, right? Except it's, it's you, you charge $10 for shipping, right? Worldwide. I charge $10 for shipping worldwide. And in addition to that, it's in Australian dollars. So unless you're in Australia or New Zealand, most other countries that buy my book, being Europe and North America, you're paying your equivalent in Australian dollars. So let's assume you're paying 30 to 50% less already, just because I, I charge in Australian dollars. So it's not $10 shipping, it's like seven to $5. In addition to that, guess what? It costs me over $10 to, to ship this bloody book to someone in my country. In Australia, it cost me somewhere between 40 and 50 bucks to ship this anywhere else on the planet. So <laughs> I'm charging people uh, $10 Australian to ship their book worldwide. That's horrific. I can't believe he's making, making us pay 10 bucks. And then, I, then I'm out of my own money, which I don't have because of all the scams and all the crap, right? I'm, I'm, I'm spending 40 to 50 bucks to send your book to me. So you're paying, you're paying 40 bucks for my book and then $10. So you pay, let's say you say you're paying 50 Australian dollars, which what, 50 Australian dollars, what's that? Is that about 30, 30 American? What, 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 what is it? Uh, 20, 
in Europe. I don't know. So, you you know, 50 bucks Australian, you, you spend, let's say you're spending at a max $30 in your, you know, in your currency conversion. You're spending $30. I've had to print this book out, which costs money. And then I had to send it to you, which costs another 40, 40, 50 bucks at least. So I'm basically, <laughs> I'm basically spending double what you're, what you're spending to buy my book and get it delivered, signed and delivered to you. I'm spending double just to post it to you. And you're, com not you, and people are complaining. Yeah, you know, honestly and truly, man, I'm more, than ha I'll take the, I'm more than happy to take the book off the website. You know, like, honestly, I just thought people would like to get a signed copy, something a bit, you know, something from me. I'll sign it, I'll send it to you. Like, I originally charged 20 Australian dollars for shipping, only internationally, 20 Australian dollars. And there was uproar. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm, who do you, I'm an autistic guy. It's like, even then, it's like, I'm still spending another $20, $30 on, on top of what you've given me. Anyway, so I, and this is not a commercial conversation. I just like, it's just, you wonder why I'm broken. I'm not, I, I'm not designed for all this crap. And then there's the 7,000 different things you've got to do on a daily basis to even have a book on a website or whatever or on the, on, the, on the platforms and all this kind of crap. So I'm just an autistic guy. I'm not even a smart autistic guy. I'd be dead without my, without my wife. I'm nothing without my wife and my family. I'm useless. I'm nothing. Without you guys, the community, I wouldn't even have anything to do in the daytime. Make content for you guys. Without you, I'd be dead. Without you guys... And my family, I would be dead. And at this point, I'm pretty bloody close. Absolutely smashed broken in every possible way. And I, I, oh man, like seriously. You know, maybe I should never have written the book. Maybe writing my book was the biggest mistake I ever made. Because the only reason why I wrote the goddamn book was to help people understand their autistic kid or their autistic partner or friend or themselves better and to hopefully help the world to some degree be a little bit more compassionate towards autistic people and to help the quality of life of my kid and other autistic people coming up through the generations. That's the only reason why I did it, okay? But if I knew it was going to cause so much stress and, and, and so much d distress and like honestly and truly, I should never have done it. I should never have done it. It just doesn't... Uh, <clears throat> People think it's so easy, like, a, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google search and watch a YouTube video on how to self-publish. What? Like, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you, come up with any other way you can completely ruin your life and blow yourself up. And that's the, that's, that's the goal. I mean, seriously. Anyway, whatever. And I'm an autistic person. This isn't for everyone. I've lost my capacity. Uh, all I care about is why have I... I've reached a point right now, and I know you can say oh, I was just overseas, and all, but a lot of stuff's been brewing over the last few months. Like I've been under a lot of pressures and demands, and a lot of people wanted a piece of me, and it's like, yeah, but it's promoting you and your brand and your book. What brand? But this is not a brand. Hey, you know who's a good brand? That crazy bloody maniac. You know that manic autistic guy that, you know, well, he, well, there's a brand. Yeah, oh, my stocks are whoop. What are you talking about brand? There is no brand. If, if I'm a brand, it's the worst brand ever. What does your brand do? I don't know. It spends its every waking hour creating content and then basically giving it away to the world for free. And then in addition to that, going into debt. <laughs> So hey, there's a brand I can I can cling on to. Is there is there a more autistic brand, by the way? It's like seriously. Oh, I'm so sick of hearing it from not from you. I'm so hearing it from like neurotypical people. You know, you've been overseas, you've been interviewed, you're a star. I'm not a star. My name's named after a constellation. But I, that's not a star, that's more like a nursery of stars, right? Anyway, an incubator of stars. Which Yeah. What does that mean? When I die, I will explode and everyone around me will be incinerated. Hmm. I guess that's true. But yeah. all I care about is getting back to where I was, which was having some sort of capacity. I don't feel like I've got a capacity anymore. I've lost my capacity to live life, to be a dad and a husband and a person. I'm so overwhelmed by all this extra crap that means nothing. All I care about is you this amazing community and helping autistic people, helping 
autistic people. And how do I do that? I've said it before. I've not only got to help you, but I've got, I've got to get through to neurotypical people. But seriously, if all it's going to be is just people trying to scam me on a daily basis, trying to take my money or use me and abuse me or, you know, whinge and whine because I'm trying to help them. But for some reason, it's going to cost them money. God forbid. How dare you ask me for money to send you a book that you've written and that you have to pay to post? How dare you? I mean, seriously. Like, uh, 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 um, yeah, I don't know where to from here. Oh, you, and, and, you know, by the way, who cares? Who cares? No one cares if it's no, no one cares where to from here for me. You, what do you What do you care? Like, uh, like, there's a thousand people you can go and watch. You don't need my crap. You don't need my content. What's the difference? <laughs> what, what's the point? What, what, what am I achieving? How have I made anyone any autistic person's life better? All I've done is um, put me and my family into horrendously stressful situations cost us thousands and thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars of, of our hard-earned money, presumably my wife's hard-earned money, and, and become less and less of a good husband or a father and, and, and have no capacity to even live life now. What, what's the point? What is this? I'm, I'm, as, I'm telling you, I'm as broken as, as there can be. I'm, I don't know where, where I am or how I got here and how I get out. Honestly, don't know. It's just so stupid. It's just so stupid. People are so stupid. Not you, the, 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 the nitwits, the neurotypical nitwits I deal with on a daily basis. It, how hard is it to understand that if someone's autistic, they're always autistic. It's like, man, whatever, whatever. I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. And you know what, all I do, either, either way I can't win, you know? I let you down or I let me down or my family down. There's no winning, there's no winning. I mean, seriously. It's, it's so stupid. And that's the other thing, right? No, I, I mean, you know, I, I, I've probably, I'm probably just boring the crap out of everyone now. And that's okay because I figured out, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Probably just give you insight into what happens if you wonder where I go. This, this video just gives you insight into what happens next, I guess. But, you know, like, I know, I know this isn't an issue for everyone, but for me, like, like money and finance is a real issue. It's a real stress. It's a real stress. And as an autistic person, I feel like a crap husband a crap father, a crap person. I already feel like I'm underperforming, right, in the world. Or most autistic people do. We're underperforming. We're not living up to the expectations, right? And now you've got me, in addition to that, do you, what do you think? Do you think I flew to Chicago and stayed in a hotel and all that kind of stuff, like uh, via a lotto win? P.S., you know, post COVID, international airfares are not cheap. Trust me. And, you know, it's the American summer. So it's, a, it's an expensive time to travel. So, I mean, it's, I, rec I reckon I added it up. I reckon it probably cost me over $10,000 just to fly to America and back for a little bit of publicity. And I did it willingly and I wanted to do it for my son. And by the way, I, don't, I, did the, I did an amazing interview. I love the interview I did. But I don't think the host asked about the book once. I don't think I mentioned the book once. I mean, I'm not the boss of the interview, but so, all right, so I've gone over, I paid 10 grand to go over there to basically tell my story and resonate, hopefully help people. And you still think, you know, and people still want to judge me. I literally did that because I knew that my story would resonate, would resonate, would resonate and would help people. When it airs, I know that I will connect and people will be helped. That's it. That's the only. So you got that. Like it cost a bloody fortune to fly overseas from Australia. Australia is far away from everywhere. Okay, and, right? And then you're like, oh, but how'd you get the interview in the first place? Oh, you don't just get interviews, right? You don't just like you don't just rock up to TV stations and newspapers and they they just run your stuff, right? You need people that are in the business, like. 
you know, um, agents and managers and, and uh, PR firms. And they don't work for free. Apparently, I'm the only one that works for free, by the way. <laughs> so apparently, this autistic guy is the only one that works for free. So I have to pay thousands, thousands, which I didn't have, still don't have, it's all gone, to these firms to get me these interviews. But then when I have these interviews, I've got to pay to get to the interviews. Now again, this is all willingly and knowingly. I signed up for this. I'm just trying to explain that this, if this doesn't tell you the only reason why I do anything I do is for my son and autistic people and why I've got to, my, got to a point where I'm in such a broken place. I've, I mean, how do I, re, how do I recover? How, how do I, how am I supposed to be, how am I supposed to recover and, and not feel like I'm, I'm horrible as a person if I'm, I'm literally taking, take, constantly taking money from basically, in my opinion, my wife, because she, you know, she, she works and she's amazing, to do all this stuff for me. And there's like, it's just, it's just more moral stress. And, you know, and, and not to mention the, like I said, the scams. I was scammed recently. I lost whatever was, whatever I had left. I'm broke. <laughs> so, by the way, I don't want, just be clear, I don't want a goddamn thing from anyone. I don't want anything from anyone. All I, all I want from you is what you're doing now. Watching the videos, sharing the videos, supporting the channel. That's it. I don't want anything from you. Don't send me anything. Do not. Do not. Okay, that's why I want to brought it up. I brought it up because I'm trying to work out to myself, why am I, why am I so goddamn broken? Why am I in such a horrible, bloody place? Oh man, I'm just a useless, I'm just a useless piece of crap that just takes, 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 and just doesn't understand anything and constantly makes mistakes and constantly gets stuffed and constantly stuffs it up for other people and constant, no matter what I do, no matter how I try, I, all I do is create badness and havoc and yuck stuff and, and I don't understand the point. What's the point of that? It's just horrible. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing on this particular video. I, 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 just, I just want you to understand, have some sort of insight to where I'm at. I feel like I've reached the peak here um, with regards to what I've, what I've been prepared to do. So many people want a piece of you, and you just and they they don't want a piece of you for a good reason. And it's just a, you know, you're so vulnerable, and you're not even. Anyway, it's so silly. What have I done? I don't even know. Anyway. <laughs> I'm over it, man. <laughs>